this is my weekly market recap of every trades that i went through every trade i sort of took in every trades that i mean the lesson of the trades you know what to learn what's the lesson of the week yeah and yeah let's get over to it for but one thing we gotta keep in note this week i did take a full porting on cpi got cooked right lost a whole account with the I don't know, there was, it was a five gig it was a six, six k account which was ninety two dollars for me still money right ninety two dollars still money right but with that this week i learned about from now on this from now this week on only taking high quality setup because I'm trying to make that a habit with that trying to normalize it you know what i'm saying because i'm so impatient for high quality setup which is not good but now i'm gonna enforce that so yeah this week i took a change one of my training rule you know from the start of the week eventually you know took a loss beforehand doing that before doing changing my trading rule on like remastering that trading rule i took a loss then eventually remaster it eventually now i could possibly avoid some more stupid losses right unnecessary losses but yeah let's go over it man monday which i took that you know before i took it you know for like right after learning testing i changed my trading rule but beforehand never had that entry i mean i did have an entry took a short market took me out went bump, pump back up took me out stopped me out and yeah they eventually changed my training rule then eventually tuesday saved me as well and monday new york session when i changed my training rule he saved me from taking a loss so yeah monday tuesday if i would have added the new strategy no trades even with the maloma one there still would have been no trades because for our time for all the time frame you know pumped up above the cost of liquidity right above both of them so with that yeah no one trades tuesday no entries here market i was just waiting for what was i waiting for in this day yeah i was waiting for a super liquidity because fraudulent liquidity was during that time bearish so looking for a super liquidity from downside then I'm looking for the next session to go bullish which happened next session well the four account came all the way back down chain and draw looking back to the downside eventually the chain and draw looking back to the opposite next session which was you know an agent session with that non session i'm trading on session with the major news like nfp cpi ppi which i'm very happy i'm very happy from this all week i've all every rule even with the losses i follow every rule right and next week take high quality setup every day for a whole month trade make it normalized but with this tuesday cpi came out took a long here took a stupid loss we should have not taken it that was a, that, that was a bad habit which yeah i won't, won't, won't do it again but yeah afterward market had a sales of liquidity looking for outlet confluence any of these this got disrespected all these got disrespected you can see go to 15 minute time frame or if you go to the five minute time frame i never had an entry over here never had an entry it was 15 for via gabriel so yeah Round 54 I got created after to let it come out. If you could mark it down, right? If you eight forty five right there, right? Mark it down. So you can see right over here, created the created the rule beforehand, never giving us an entry. So yeah. And now after that the Fravaga get hit, once I get hit, now I'm looking for a minute, another fifteen minute confluence. But right after where I wouldn't happen. I mean, look at see. You can see right over here, never give us an entry, but what happened after it worked? market and i'll different gold bears disrespecting all the all the building block with that gives us another hourly sweep liquidity eventually took it out giving it the entry for a 2rr which is a fantastic this one i did not take because i was like i'm only taking i'm only gonna take a one trade retention even though i didn't take this on my 50k account i took it on my 60k account which got you know blown up which is a bad habit and which i'm not gonna do it again and i take this but i did see this but i did not take it because i was like okay Still gonna follow my rules, even if I don't take a take a take a trade on my main account, right? So yeah, that right there, I should have I should have taken, but I didn't take. Evidently, Thursday, not trade London session, but Thursday, the uh New York session, CPI came that a bearish move eventually pumped up, never gets an entry. Friday, London session, well London session London session just fluctuated, New York session. I had an hourly confluence with the alley of or fair ride gap, but that broke my trading rule. Which, even if I took it longer that time, I would have had a loss because that's the fair ride gap in a place with a fair ride gap 
did not get enough fill. Now the market needs to go back down there, get a deeper fill, then we're going to go back up, right? Which this right here did not do. And yeah, if I would have taken along there, put it myself below the sense of liquidity, I would have stopped out. But yeah, that's my market recap. Thank you for watching. And yeah, pretty wonderful week. But now, from now on, I'm not trading before news. Like, during like major news, NFP, CPA, PPF, or FOMC. Like, you know, saying all those major news, right? Mainly NFP, CPI, PPI, call retail sales. With that, all tech high quality setup. With that, all the general, man. Yeah, and watching.